Hey, Orion. Happy Monday. Welcome back to math. What you learned last week. Last week, you continued to work on equal groups and repeated addition. Multiplying by 10, skip counting, and multiplying by one. Let's review. Okay. When you multiply a number by one, your product will be the number you multiplied it by. Remember that product is the answer you get after you multiply two factors. So in this sentence, the factor is 30 times one. So 30 times one, our product will be 30. Great job. Let's review skip counting using a number line. Count with me. Zero, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Great job. When skip counting by 10, all the answers on a number line, we call them multiples of 10, or the product of a number that you get when you multiply it by 10. So, Last week, we worked on skip counting. So here's another example, 10 times four. So we're going to use our number line and start at zero. And we're going to skip count four times. So we're going to have one, two, three, four. So 10 times four equals 40. Today, we are going to continue to review all the ways you can show multiplication. We also did this last week. I know you guys are so over it, but remember, the more you practice, the better mathematicians you become. So you can solve multiplication by using equal groups, arrays, repeated addition, or skip counting. Great job on reviewing. Now let's begin our lesson of the day. Today, we are going to review, once again, what happens when you multiply one by a number. We continuously practice the skills we have learned before. So let's start. When you multiply a number by one, your product will be the number you multiplied it by. So seven times one equals, that's right, seven. I think you guys are ready for a multiplication drill. Pause the video and go get a pencil and a paper. Great job on following directions. Are you ready? Do you have your pencil and your paper? Let's begin. You are going to write the answer to the problem on your paper. Three times one equals? Did you say three? Great job. A thousand times one equals? One thousand, amazing. Keep going. 400 times one equals? Four hundred, great work. 22 times one equals? 22, great job. Now, I want you guys to solve each of these problems independently or by yourselves. Pause the video as you solve the problems. I know you can do it, give it a go. Awesome, let's check your work. 10 times one equals 10. Nine times one equals nine. One times one equals one. And zero times one equals 
zero. I tricked you guys. Remember the property of zero, any number multiplied by zero equals zero. That also includes one. Let's check the rest of your work. Seven times one equals seven. 14 times one equals 14. 50 times one equals 50. And three times one equals three. Great job. Now you guys are going to do your worksheet of the day. Pause the video and begin your work. Happy Tuesday, Orion. Welcome back to math. Yesterday you practiced multiplying numbers by one. Today we are going to review the Freire model, especially which method you like to use to solve your multiplication problems. But first, let's review the ways we can solve. So we have equal groups, arrays, repeated addition, and skip counting. Write a multiplication problem to match the equal group. Let's do this together. I see that I have three circles. So that means I have three groups. I also see that there are two lines in each group. So that means I have three groups of two. So my multiplication problem is three times two. Great job. I'm gonna do an array of six times four. I'm going to have six rows and four columns. Pause the video as you draw your array. Let's check your array and my array. Here we go. As you can see, I have six rows and I have four columns. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I have four columns. One, two, three, four. Six times four equals 24. Let's try repeated addition. Five times four. Let's do this one together. I'm going to add five. One, two, three, four, five, four times. Five times four equals 20. What steps do I use? So here are some important things to remember when solving your multiplication problems. First, pick the step that is the easiest for you. For me, I like to use arrays. Solve the problem. Then challenge yourself to use another method. So I do not like doing equal groups. So I'm going to challenge myself to practice making equal groups. Six times four. So my choice is to solve this problem by using an array. I have six rows and I have four, four columns. So six times four. What I do not like is to do skip counting. So I'm going to challenge myself and skip count by six. One good way to practice skip counting by six is to bring manipulatives. So you can use some beans, some Legos, some beads, or some uncooked pasta as your manipulatives. First you put a, first you make a group of six. And then you add six more and you keep adding six. So as you can see in the number line, I am skip counting by six. Let's do another one together. Four times four. This time I chose to solve using an array again. I really like making arrays, but I'm going to challenge myself to keep practicing my skip counting. 
This time I'm skip counting by four. Again, you can use your manipulatives such as beans, Legos, beads, even Play-Doh to count. You can also use a number line and hop four times on your number line. Remember to always start at zero first and then hop four times and you will land at four. Once you are at four, you're going to hop another four times and that is the best way to use a number line. Okay, so just as a reminder, pick the step that is the easiest for you. Solve the problem. Challenge yourself to use another method. Worksheet time. Now is a great time to pause the video and begin on your worksheet of the day. Hey Orion, welcome back. Today is Wednesday. Yesterday we reviewed the Freire model and which method you like best. Today we're going to do it again, but this time we are going to do word problems and which way you like to solve your word problems. So what do you do first? First, you read the word problems. Then I want you to circle the numbers in the word problems. Then pick the step that is the easiest for you. And last, challenge yourself to use another method. So let's do this one together. Caroline has five bracelets. Each bracelet has three beads. What is the product? Hmm. I'm going to circle my two numbers, which are five and three. I'm going to circle five and I'm going to circle three. And now I'm going to choose the method I want to solve this problem. So for this method, I'm going to solve the problem by doing equal groups. As you can see, I made little bracelets I have five bracelets and I put three beads on each bracelet. So I have five groups of three. I have equal groups. Now I'm going to challenge myself to use a different method. I chose to do repeated addition. So I'm going to add five three times. So five plus five plus five equals 15. The product is 15. The two factors we are multiplying are three and five. Let's do another one together. Okay, I'm going to erase, great job. Let's read the problem. Jordan has seven packs of Mr. Smile books. Each pack has three books. How many books in all? First, I'm going to circle the numbers in my word problem. So he has seven packs and each pack has three books. In all is also a multiplication word. So the factors in this problem are seven times three. Now I'm gonna choose the best way I want to solve the problem. My choice is by drawing an array. I have seven rows and three columns of books. And I challenged myself to skip count by seven. Seven, 14, 21. 
you can always use your number line and hop and find those numbers. Okay, so Jacob must build a Lego set. The first building has three flights of stairs. Each staircase has 10 steps. Now, the, remember, the first step is to circle your numbers. So 10 steps and three steps. Here we go. Three steps. So pause the video and solve the problem. What are the two factors in this problem and what will be the product? And make sure to challenge yourself. Awesome. So three times 10 is our multiplication sentence and our factor equals 30. So you could have done anything you liked as your choice, such as array, equal groups, skip counting, or repeated addition. But always remember to challenge yourself in the skill or the one method you find to be the hardest. Remember, the more we practice, the better we become. There we go. So, Remember that the first step you do is read your problem. Then circle the numbers in the problem. Pick the step that is the easiest for you. Solve the problem and challenge yourself to try another way. It is worksheet time, so please pause the video to complete your worksheet. Hey, Orion, welcome back to math. Today is Thursday. Last week we learned skip counting by 10. Today we are going to multiply numbers 1 through 12 by 10. Let's try. We're going to use the hand method for our fingers. So I want you guys to put your hands up. Let me see them. Great job. And we're going to count by 10. Ready? 10. Wiggle a finger as you count, 10, 20, make sure you're wiggling, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. We have 10 fingers and we can count by tens by using each finger. So, 10 times five equals 50. So we're gonna use our hands, put your hands up and wiggle each finger as you count by 10. Ready? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Great job. Let's do another one together. 10 times 70 equals 70. We're gonna use our hands, ready? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Great work. 10 times 10 equals 100. Make sure you have your hands up and wiggle each finger as you count by times. Let's do it nice and loud. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 
So when we're using our 10 fingers, our two hands and our fingers, we can count to 100 by 10. Uh-oh, 10 times 11, what am I going to do? I don't have 11 fingers, but let's give it a try. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Uh-oh, I ran out of fingers. Well, I go back to number to my first finger and I go 110. So 10 times 11 is 110. You just go start counting and just add 10. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, and go back, 110. 10 times four, give it a go. Count with your hands and wiggle your fingers as you count by 10. Amazing, 10, 20, 30, 40. 10 times four equals 40, great job. 10 times three, let's do it together. Wiggle your finger as you count by 10. 10, 20, 30, great job. 10 times zero, do you guys remember? Any number multiplied by zero is always zero. Amazing. Now you can pause the video and begin your worksheet of the day. Hey Orion, happy Friday. Today we are going to review what we have learned all week. Let's begin. On Monday, we learned about what happens when you multiply one by any number. So 500 times one equals 500. Let's have a multiplication drill. Pause the video and go grab a pencil and paper. Awesome job on following directions. Begin right solving the problems. Awesome, let's check our work. 60 times one equals 60. 12 times one equals 12. 25 times one equals 25. And zero times one equals zero. Great job, let's check the rest of our work. 100 times 1 equals 100. 19 times 1 equals 19. 99 times 1 equals 1. 99. And 1 times 1 equals 1. Great job. On Tuesday and Wednesday, we reviewed all the ways you can show multiplication. We also talked about the best ways and strategies that we can use to help us solve. So remember, when you're just solving the problems, first you pick the easiest way to solve for you, then you solve it, then you challenge yourself to use a different way. If you have a word problem, first you read the problem, then you circle the numbers in the problem. Last, you pick, not last, then you pick the easiest way to solve the problem for you. Last, you challenge yourself and try a new way. It's always best to challenge ourselves and continue working on the math skills we are learning. On Thursday, we learned all the multiples of 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100. Great job. Fantastic. Enjoy your weekend.